Star Trek Picard Season 3 is finally here, and I'm here to give it a review, head cold and all, so please excuse my voice for sounding a bit weird, uh, but we're going to go ahead and talk about Picard Season 3, Episode 1, which just aired, and I just watched it, so you're getting my reactions straight from seeing the episode. Uh, it's going to be spoiler-free, I'm just going to cover things that were mostly just covered in the previews and the basic, uh, most basic of plot outlines that I can give. Uh, talking about the episode, then I'll give you my thoughts. So let's get into it. So the episode starts off with a cool action sequence where we get to catch up with Dr. Beverly Crusher, who is on some mission out on her own. She's no longer with Starfleet, and uh, she is in distress. And as things start looking terrible, she manages to get a distress call out to Picard, and he's at a chateau. Uh, the distress call obviously warns of imminent danger. She uses some Easter egg codes from the old series, and tells him trust no one starfleet included so uh picard obviously can't do it on his own so he figures he's gonna stick stick with what he knows and people he knows he can trust so he goes to his old buddy will Riker, and once Riker hears that crusher's in trouble he is obviously you can't keep him from helping so the two of them set off on a mission to get themselves a ship so they can get to beverly and try to save the day uh this episode was pretty much a kind of a setup episode for what's coming getting uh Picard start on whatever this mission is, the starts of getting the crew back together, and them getting back out into space. Uh, this episode really, all I can say is it just made me happy. It was a really good episode of Star Trek. And that hasn't been something I've been able to say for a while uh, in this new age of Star Trek, that I just watched it and enjoyed myself. Uh, even with the Picard show, Something about the Picard show has felt just dark and dour and grim. And this is the first time it felt fun. And even Picard himself, uh, Patrick Stewart, he seemed like he was enjoying himself in the character a lot more. This felt more like the Captain Picard that we knew from the old show and the old, uh, the old movies that they did. It was really fun to see him and Jonathan Frakes actually doing more than just kind of puttering around on a on a lake house together, uh, actually getting to go out and be, you know, Riker and Picard out doing something that's adventurous and something that's fun. Uh, we do see Seven of Nine and Raffi in this episode, and I don't know how much of a part either one of them are going to play in the series as a whole or if they're just kind of there to tie up the seasons one and two, what what lingering plot threads and, and bookends that they may need to continue. Uh, but they're in the episode, which is good. Uh, I, I never really had a problem with either of the characters. And they have a little bit more story left in them, I think. So hopefully they both stick around for a little bit. Uh, they're in a lot of the promo stuff, so I'm assuming we're going to still see a good deal of them. Uh, we don't see the entire crew yet. I think I get the feeling this is going to be kind of they're going to be being brought in one by one as the series progresses. I know there's people out there that have already seen it, so that information is probably already out there. But I'm trying my best to avoid spoilers. Uh, but yeah, this was just a, a fun episode of television. This is going to be a short review because I don't want to ruin anything and I don't want to talk about any of the details that are out there. Uh, just know this is a lot of fun. It's Star Trek the way kind of we remember it. This felt more like the series that we were hoping we would get when we first heard they were doing a Star Trek Picard. Uh, so really, my only the only negative I have to say is this showed how good this show could have been all along, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully they can keep this up. From what I've heard from the people who have gotten the, the sneak previews, I, like I said, I've tried to avoid story details, but just hearing the opinions, it sounds like this is going to be a really fun ride, and it's just starting here. So, uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I, I really do recommend it for anyone uh, who enjoys Star Trek, especially for anyone who enjoyed Star Trek Next Generation back in the day. It was just a lot of fun to watch, and you could tell the the actors are having fun with their characters again. They're they're they genuinely seem like they're happy to be back out there doing the thing that they know how to do so well. I mean, they they wear these characters like you know just an old comfortable pair of gloves at this point. So it, it just seems effortless. It seems fun, and because their performances seem so easy, and because these characters are so familiar, it allows the story to you know to flow and and let you focus on on what's going on without really having to you know kind of get into the nitty-gritty of who these characters are and what they are because we know them so well really it's just kind of feeling like you're catching up with you know what have they been doing where is the world taking them and and where where are we finding them now one by one so it's very good it's very interesting uh the effects actually look good which is good because uh season two seemed seemed to me like it had a really small budget or something it seemed very small um 
you know, maybe that's why they set it in present day so they didn't have to do so much Star Trekky stuff. This felt more like watching, uh, really, it felt like watching one of the Trek movies. It was very good, uh, very cool. There's some some side characters show up. Uh, a few new characters get introduced that are a lot of fun. Um, one character who's kind of a foil to what they're trying to do. You'll see him when he shows up. He is just kind of a hard-nosed, by-the-rules bureaucrat. And he's whoever the the actor that plays him just does a really good job of creating a character that you just really dislike. <laughs> and um, that was fun. So, yeah, give it a shot. Uh, if you've already seen it, let me know what you think of it and uh, try to keep spoilers out of the comments if you can. Um, obviously, things that have been seen in the previous general plot outlines are, are perfectly cool. But. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it down there, and that's going to be it. I'll try to do a review um, for each episode, and if I can do each one of them, we'll definitely do a series review when it is finished. But uh, so far, so good. I have to give a thumbs up to the first episode, and I'll talk to you in the next video. See you then.